What's going on guys? Your boy Turbo Reacts here and we are back with another episode of The Walking Dead. Season 2 episode 2 is here today. And you guys, if you guys know, um you guys don't know, full reaction over here, okay? Link in the description. Um I would appreciate it if you guys watch my intros and watch my reviews. Um you know, otherwise, uh, okay, I'm going to be putting this out on the community tab. What would you guys rather see? Would you guys just want me to review the episodes? Because I think, um, I think maybe my intros are a bit too redundant. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm going to be putting it out on the community tab. So look out. So please look out for that. Um, if you're a, if you're a subscriber look out look out for that on um in your in your timeline you will see it pop up if you're subscribed to me if you're not please do okay so yeah so look out for that on the community tab i will be asking because every now and then i want i want my child to improve i want to know what you guys prefer because i want to know like if you guys are not watching the intros um and you're just jump into the link in the description to go watch the reaction it doesn't really make any sense for me to be doing intros you get what i'm saying like it doesn't make any sense so i will be doing maybe a channel update today to ask you guys that and also put it in the community tab so you guys can vote on it and let me know what you guys think about that okay so in the last episode we saw um we saw that Carl got shot at the end of the episode, right? Now, the episode itself was very, um, you know, Shane is planning to leave. I think if he leaves, it's, it's just a bitch move. Um, he needs to get over himself. Hey, man, you got something. You were in love with another man's, in love with another man's wife. She was not in love with you, obviously. She wasn't in love with you. Her husband came back. Um, she believing that her husband was dead, um... Now the husband is back and she's gone back to him. You can't be salty about that. You get what I'm saying? You being in love and acting almost even rape, raping her in, in the last, um, the last episode of season one, like that was, that was off cuff. It, it wasn't warranted. It's like you let your feelings control you. Plus you're getting drunk and all this other stuff, like, it, it just doesn't look good, you know, for his character. Um, so, I'm definitely looking forward to this episode here, season 2, episode 2, see what's going on. See if they're going to save Carl, if, if you know, if they're going to lose him. Because we don't know where he got shot. It looked like he got shot in the chest or the stomach, somewhere around that area. So, let's go see what's happening, man. Remember, link is in the description Full reactions over here, always at Terabyte Reacts. And we are we are about to jump into this, so let's go. See you guys over there. What's going on, guys? I am back with the review for this episode this episode was short and sweet obviously was mostly concentrated around getting carl to um for help right um rick i don't know what's his deal like what's so hard for him to understand that he can't leave his son like you know what i'm saying like i know he wants to, he, he he has this thing about him where he just feels like he has to do everything and when it comes on when it comes on to your children man you have to be by their side he, you know i know he wouldn't forgive himself if he left and he died while he wasn't there because he went to go look for stuff to help him and he didn't have to now if he had to i would say okay you have to go but he doesn't have to. And that's why I was saying, why don't you go, Shane? You know what I'm saying? Which which he did end up going um, to go get the supplies. You know what I'm saying? It's not a situation where 
he you know where he um has to get up and go and whatever he needs to be there because he has other people that can go get the supplies so i'm glad that shane talked some sense into him for him to understand that listen you don't have to do it all man you don't have to do it all. You did the right thing. He, he's questioning himself what he should have done in the girl's disappearance situation. He did the right thing by not going. By by going, I mean. By going. He did the right thing by going after the girl. No hesitation. He's that type of person. So for you to turn around now and blame yourself for bringing Carl, no, it was an accident. Accidents happen. Incidents happen. Now you can't. And I know that most people in that situation, they are going to blame themselves because they're going to be like, what if? You know what I'm saying? As we say, hindsight is 2020. You always going to look at it and be like, you shouldn't have done that. I couldn't have done that. I, what if I never did this? And all of this other stuff. What if is one of those questions that always come after the fact. And it's something that I really don't do anymore in my life so much you get what i'm saying like i don't ask what if because it doesn't help anybody all it does is makes you worry all it does is cause unnecessary stress that's what what if does to you you get what i'm saying um why do we worry why do we worry so much I, i've come to a philosophy in, in 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 my life in my personal life i've come to a philosophy where i'm saying listen worry doesn't move anything it does nothing for you it's a side effect. It's a side effect of that you can control. You yes, it happens unconsciously, but it is something that you can control because worry doesn't do anything. If you look at that rock and worry about the rock being there, it doesn't move the rock unless you move it. You get what I'm saying? So worrying about the problem never does anything about the problem. Just do it. Just get it done. So you have a situation that you that that um that you can solve. Worrying about it doesn't solve the problem. Worries does nothing. So being um being optimistic is a is a very good thing to have in life because it it encourages um it it encourages future tense. It encourages looking forward to something it encourages moving on it encourages moving forward so you have to keep that vibe instead of oh my god what if i had done this if i should go back and look at my life and start worrying about the what ifs oh my god i would be so stressed out in my life it would be absolutely ridiculous i wouldn't even be able to be confident enough to sit in front of a camera and do reactions for you guys if i was so caught up in my worries in my circumstances you get what i'm saying off the past you know what i mean so i'm very comfortable and confident in 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 most things that i do in life they don't get me wrong they are still things that trigger me you get what i'm saying they are still still things in my life that trigger me but it always comes from somebody else and i tend to just walk away from it because I know what this situation is. If I've seen it before, I know what it is. I can easily walk away and say, I see what you're doing. I'm out, right? So I'm really, really, I really enjoyed this episode, even though I was completely wrong on a point I was trying to make, you know what I'm saying? Because in my head, of uh, as what I've always thought was that veterinarians or vets they go to med school. I didn't know that they go to a separate school. I did not know that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you talk to, I've talked to uh, uh, um, veterinarians before. I never asked them if they went to med school, but they have basic knowledge of medicine. So I've always thought that they went to med school. So I'm correcting myself. As I said, I could easily have edit, edited out of, edit it out of the video, but it's, it's, um, it's everything I'm here, I'm opening up myself to you, and I'm not void of mistakes. I can make mistakes too. So, um, and that's why I looked it up to make sure. You get what I'm saying? You guys saw me. I was on my phone. I looked it up. Veterinarians, they go to a different school. They, they go to vet school, as they call it. They don't go to med school. But I was right about the others. Um, 
So I was just off on that one because they are looked down on society, but they do have a knowledge of basic medicine, no matter what people may think. So I would trust them to treat a wound for me um, because a wound is a wound. You get what I'm saying? Yes, the antibiotics that may work on me as a human being might not work on an animal, but at the same time, it might be even a stronger antibiotic, <laughs> to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So the the um so that was my mistake, and I'm apologizing for it. You know, your boy can get things wrong too, and I'm not for the mistakes. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I'm human. Okay, it was it was a mistake, and I'm admitting to it. Okay, so I know as soon as I start that rant, everybody's gonna be like, "But I know, I know, I know that they 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 don't go to med school, right?" Um, so but in any case, man, it's all good. It's all good. It was an honest mistake. I corrected myself multiple times, so I'm apologizing. Okay, your boy is not all knowing. I'm not a god. <laughs> okay. Um, and I know most people when they do stuff like that, they probably edit it out of their videos, but I'm not editing it. I'm going to apologize for that point. Okay. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. The internet proved me wrong. Okay. So I didn't know. Okay. So, um, so the situation went on with So now Shane and Otis is, tr is trapped at the high school where they went to get the, 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 the medical supplies. Um, and, and again, T dog, my dude, you gotta, you gotta settle down. I know when you have a high fever, you become delirious. You start thinking about things that's not even there. You could even hallucinate with a high fever. So, um, so when it comes on to what was going on there, what he was talking about, we already know the old man ain't going to leave. He ain't going to leave. Right. So. And it, and it just ends up that Daryl saves his life again. Um, so definitely this episode was short. It was sweet. But it was all about getting Carl, um, getting help for Carl. So I'm definitely, definitely, I dig that episode. So on to episode three, man. Um, thank you guys for watching as always. It's been great. Um, so far, so good for this episode. As I said. We out here. We loving it. Guys, continue to support these videos. Please leave a like and a comment on this video. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and peace.